So, I was going to do a mega cool cinematic video for you today, but I've kind of woken up not feeling very well. I'm incredibly, incredibly tired. And, well, the weather is shockingly bad. So I'm going to go and get some breakfast. I need breakfast. And I need to look in the camera. What a douchebag. vlog now is I can't use my normal arm to hold the camera so I have to use my other and it's a little unsteady which is really annoying really annoying I know you're scared of giving in I know you're scared of love So, so this whole cancer thing and me having cancer and how do I feel about it? How do I feel about the prognosis? It's hard to explain. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about any of it, to be honest. I'm really not sure. Just gotta have fun. Got to try and enjoy every day. If I hadn't had the surgery, it would have just been a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months I'd live for. It spread too rapidly. The only chance at life I had was to have this surgery and to have everything done. But how, do, how do you get past this point of like no return? I've got it. It's a terminal illness, it's something I've got to deal with. That's it. I know you will be strong again. I know your heart will mend. I won't So I'm at my little brother's house. I am here trying to look after his house because there's been a spate of robberies down the road. Uh, JC, who was in my video a couple of weeks ago, his house got robbed, he lives over the road. I'm trying to say this really fast because it's half six at night on Sunday the 15th of April my video has to come out at seven because I said it would come out at seven. Seven o'clock, Greenwich Mean Time, every single day I'll be back here. And I think that's 2, uh, 2 p.m. in uh, Eastern Central Time or whatever. Uh, I was wrong yesterday. People make mistakes. Anyway, I'm going tomorrow to see the doctors, sort out my drain, to sort out my wound. Uh, the wound's healing pretty nicely. It's there somewhere. Whee! And there was my nipple. Please excuse the nipple. Um, but yeah, at least I don't have burger nips like Ben. Anyway, what I wanted to say at the end of this video is, my video today wasn't meant to be like this. I lost an SD card, I lost a drone, and some stuff went wrong. So it was meant to be a lot more fun, a lot more cinematic, but hey, these things happen. And I've had a great time reshooting everything today, so it, it's been fun. Um, and I just want you all to understand that fighting a terminal illness doesn't really have to be a miserable time. It, it can be miserable at, at some points. Uh, I, I lie down in bed and cry like everyone else. Um, but it, it's not always like that. It's not always like that. People are so lovely, people are so generous and so kind. Um, and it, it's all about trying to get through 
this situation as best I can. And as best I can get through this situation um, and make something of myself that I've never managed to do in my life. And th that for me is a massive thing to just rewrite my history. And that is something that I want to do. That is something that I'm really passionate about. That is something that I'm like really energized about and trying to inspire other people to do things and to like inspire a like kind of younger generation to just be free with what they do and try and be like awesome. And that, that's what I want to do. So I'll be back every single day at 7 p.m. And it's going to be awesome. I really, really love the support from everyone. And I'm so gracious for it. Um, grateful for it? Not gracious? What the hell am I talking about? I need to go and, like, kind of lie down for a bit because I'm knackered. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.